Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and I am always thrilled when this little box appears on my doorstep. Bird Moss has been once again sent to me for a review. This is actually the October box but she does tend to ship towards the end of the month. I did actually receive it in October but as many of you know I do pre-tape well ahead of time, sometimes up to two weeks at a time depending on my work schedule or travel schedule. So this is the October box and I did receive it in October, but I'm sharing it with you now here in November. So Bird Moss is a little bit different than any other box that I open here on the channel. It is really for those of you who enjoy something that's a little bit mystical, a little bit magical. It's not always the most functional items, but I think the theming and this whole idea of going into this fantasy world with the box curation every month is so unique and so special. And so for some of you, I know it's absolutely your favorite because it really is inspires your creativity and you really enjoy the items that she includes. That's not to say that the items are not all uh, necessarily useful. Some of them are a little bit more along the trinket side and some of them are absolutely useful in your life, especially if they're edible or self-care items. This box is currently, let me see, $45 per month. I believe that actually includes the shipping, but I do have a code for you to help you save $10 and that is going to simply be my name. It's just N-O-E-L and that will save you $10 on your first box. So let me go ahead and read the description just in case you've never seen it before because it is unlike any other box, like I said. It says, Bird Moss box subscribers say it's like getting a daydream in the mail. With each box, you'll receive works of art and self-care rituals that engage all the senses to create an immersive, magical experience. Think of it as a package from a friend who cherishes your delightful heart and spirit. Your boxes are accompanied by poetry and prose which tell of a gifted dreamer. You are that dreamer, and this is your story. Some letters and documents arrive inside your monthly box, and others are emailed to you. And she does all kinds of fun um, additional items for new subscribers. But inside every box, there is this sort of opening poem. So I'll read it to you because we did skip a month. It's sometimes this box sells out. So. Uh, we did skip a month. It says, gather pen, paper, matches. This is the start of it all when finally dusk begins to fall and muffle the day's noises and needs. It starts with a tug, a beckoning scent, a rustle, the faint rattle of seeds. You didn't know that you were missing from a story pouring forward in another place. You break the seal and feel the skating brush of a wing. So it's almost like going in through a portal, right? It's like Narnia or something where we go and we learn about all of the different inhabitants of this world. So we've, you know, we've talked to the wolves and we've like had boxes that featured mushrooms and all kinds of different things. But again, it just kind of feels like it's from another world. It's almost got like sometimes like a Lord of the Rings vibe to it. Um, sometimes it's very like woodland creatures. I don't know. It's just so special. So let me open up the little box. Mostly we have some shred kind of hiding everything inside, but this is the bats box. So the bats between. So of course, perfect for the October month, but all of spooky season. I love bats. I think they're really cool. I know some people have like a little bit of a fear of bats. I mean, I wouldn't want one flapping around my face necessarily, but I just think they're actually kind of cool. <laughs> like I think they're actually kind of amazing. So it says, in bird moss, the bats and their customs are a mystery to most. Many bats dwell in the bird moss below. It is a place of stone and darkness, magnetic fields and strange echoes, uninhabitable by most creatures. The bats, however, can travel between worlds. Ooh, in that like luminous space. It says, emerging from the bird moss below to the bird moss above to fly and feed. While in their caves, they huddle together for warmth and companionship. When they do take to the sky, they dance together and murmurations swirling under the moon. So just from that copy, right, you can see, you can hear that you are in this different world, right? So it's this other world where there's the bird moss below, and then there's bird moss above, which I think most of the time we spend time in the bird moss above, but it's always good to know what's what's underneath and the, the, maybe take some of the fear out of it. I, metaphors, right? So we always get that little postcard with that art piece and then we always get a letter on what she she prints it on like oh, kind of looks like parchment and then you can see this is really our product card but she does annotate it with what looks like hand drawings and notes and I just think it feels so special. It feels like someone has given you like a treasure map or something. Um, just one of those sort of uh, engaging sort of create your own adventure 
um, books or something where you get to piece everything together and explore. So it says to navigate the depths. It says dream to the month of an under to the mouth of an underground cave. So the bird moss below. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six items. We have a couple of um, knots. We have a picture of what looks like maybe a fox. It says health, wealth, and happiness, or blood, wine, and shadow, or so you can see we have all these annotations, these little drawings. It is so much fun to me. I, this box is not for everyone. I know some of you have commented. You're like, nah, I don't see the value in it. And others of you, you're like, this is so amazing. It is so special, so different than anything else. Um, and so it is your favorite. So we have something wrapped up in tissue here. Sometimes I like to kind of pull things out in order. Uh, pull everything out so that I can read to you the items in order because there really is sort of a narrative that goes along with this. I don't always know what all the items are, so sometimes we do have to open things together, but hopefully I can find all of our items here. All right, that is a cool item I'm seeing. And then she usually has a little spoiler card for the next one inside, which has like a little charm often, um, or it might be something that's floating around. Sometimes there's not one, sometimes there is, but it looks like it says in November, so I know we're already in November, but again, she ships towards the end of the month, we will encounter the fire tender. Ooh, so that's what that looks like. And of course, Shannon is the curator of this box. She is. I don't know. She's like the queen of bird moss, I guess. All right. So first we have a bat talisman. So we got this little guy. It's a pendant on a black cord. It says the bats feel, believe that they share a connection with you. Just as you can travel between your world and bird moss, the bats can travel between the bird moss below and the bird moss above. And like the bats, you possess formidable powers of intuition and perception, even in the darkness. You receive a talisman which has been quickened with ashes to draw forth those powers. Ooh, so perfect for Halloween. It's a bat that's all wrapped up and hanging upside down, and it is silver. Now you guys know if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, I used to review a lot more jewelry subscriptions. Now I just have a couple of them that I love, but I'm usually not one for corded neck necklaces. I usually feel like it looks a little bit young um, or, you know, more like a silly trinket. I think it could work for sure for Halloween to have this faux leather cord. It does have um, an adjustable little stretch on it. It is a little bit longer. I personally like to take charms like this and put them on an actual uh, chain just because I think it elevates it, makes it look a little bit fancier, a little bit more grown up, but I could see wearing this for Halloween. But if you do love bats and uh, what they symbolize and you want to wear it year round, I would probably uh, go ahead and put it on a different chain. So we got a little jewelry piece. So like I said, not necessarily um, something that is useful, but something that's delightful. And it's always part of a well-balanced uh, curation, which she does. So we usually get, you know, an accessory or like I said, it's some self-care. And, and every once in a while, there'll be like one or two items that are more like trinkets, just little things to have. But like this talisman, for example, is actually a necklace and not just a talisman, right? And then we have, oh goodness, I have to figure out what it is. So there's two things that are all wrapped up, so I'm not sure exactly what we've got. I'll have to take a quick look. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think, let's see, let's see. We've got a couple things in here. I have to figure it out. Oh, okay. I think this is it. This is cute too. But I think we have a navigation tool. So it says magnetic compass supplies. Now the reason I think that is because it has a nice magnet in there. There's usually kind of a DIY item in here, whether you're making um, something like a wind catcher or whether you're making like a potion or a little field that you can have on your desk. There is usually like a DIY little project in here, which is another thing that I really love about this box and how it does stoke your curiosity. So it says creating a compass, you'll need a small small leaf or piece of waxed paper and a bowl of water. Magnetize your needle and she included a cute little needle pin cushion and a needle. Magnetize your needle by brushing it against the magnet 25 to 30 times. Stroke from the middle of the needle to the tip in the same direction each time. Float a small leaf or piece of waxed paper in a bowl of water and gently place your magnetized needle on top of it. The needle will align with the earth's magnetic lines running between the north and south poles. Nudge the leaf and watch the needle return to its north pointing direction. Direction. Try quickening the bond of 
bowl of water for glimpsing. Ooh, experiment with other vessels or substitute wine for the water. How neat. So you could find a really pretty autumn leaf, like a little one. And I, of course, we also got this cute little pin cushion, which I think is adorable. So I remember doing this with my father, who is a, a boat captain, and my parents actually learned celestial navigation, this long story, to uh, navigate their boat. So they know all about compasses. And I remember doing this with him and creating a simple uh, compass, but I think this is really neat, right? Again, this is kind of one of those things where you probably have a compass. You have a compass on your phone. Most of us do, but this is kind of a fun project and it kind of goes with the low sort of witchy aspect of it uh, and spooky season. So kind of cute. And we get a pin cushion, which is useful and a magnet. Honestly, if you want to put a magnet on something cool, you could definitely do that as well. So we got our nav our magnetic compass supplies. It says the bats are gifted with a magnetic sensory system informed by tiny magnetic crystals in their bodies. You receive supplies so that you too can be guided by the earth's magnetic fields. As you explore the bats underground caves, float your magnetized needle upon a leaf in a vessel of water, whisper earthly force, show me North as the needle swings into place, follow its direction until you reach the bats cavern. And then in the annotated writing, it says the bats tell you that magnetic forces help us to see the current as it flows. So the current is kind of this power, this energy that flows through the world of bird moss. So it has a capital C. So you guys, let's have a secret password. Uh, our secret password today is going to be compass, like that thing that you direct yourself that gives you that uh, true north, hopefully, if you magnetize your needle enough. Uh, so compass will be our secret password. When you come across the secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. Please do not put the secret passwords into the comments because then I have to delete them. You do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to have a US or Canadian mailing address for me to ship out one of my mystery boxes, which is the prize uh, every month. And just remember that it is not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. You do have to be a subscriber of my channel, but it doesn't have to be publicly. I can verify with you with screenshots uh, via email, which is how I notify winners. So do make sure that you are on the lookout around the 5th or the 6th of the following month, because that's when I send out an email. Uh, another good way of making sure that you find out if you are a winner is to be a part of our private Facebook group, The Nobot Nook, or of course, to uh, just watch the community tab here on the channel. So you do want to be subscribed and get those notifications for that. So again, Again, our secret password for today is going to be compass uh, for all of us seeking our way. All right, the next thing we have is uh, it says the hiding place, a pomegranate box. I'm wondering if that's what this is in here. So let me untwist this. It says, um, let's see, let's see. I think it might be. It says, hiding place. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Look at this pomegranate box. It really looks like blood red. I love this. It says the dark tannic pomegranate is the symbol of the bird moss below. Its seeds are reminiscent of blood, wine, and shadow. Most flinch away from the spray of juice when the fruit is opened. Therefore, it is the perfect hiding place for small secrets. The old stories say that eating three pomegranate seeds allows one to live in the below. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love pomegranates. <gasps> Look, it's this special little box and then it's got, this is so neat, you guys. So then we've got this little red um, cord and then we've got this little bell inside. Oh my goodness. So you can see there's like all this special stuff. So this is part of our next bit. So we have, um, oh, this is so pretty. It's metal. I love this. That is so special to me and it has a nice uh, tight fit to the lid. This is gonna be my favorite item, I think, this time around. What would you keep in this pomegranate box? Let me know in the comments below. So the next thing we have, uh, it goes along with our cord, our little bell that was uh, kind of floating around in there, and this broom. All right, so here we go with something that might not be, uh, from outward appearances, the most functional item, the most useful item, but adds to the charm of this box. It says, you'll find a length of scarlet cord and a tinkling bell inside the hiding place. Quicken the cord with three knots and tie the bell to your broom. So you tie the bell to the broom. Use your broom in sweeping out rituals for small spaces or as seasonal decor because it makes you think of little witchies flying across the moon. It says in bird moss, you can make yourself small and fly alongside the bats. So that's cool. You were gonna tie three knots in this and then tie your bell. Oops, my bell just, <laughs> 
my bell just decided to take off without the broom. The bell onto the broom, and then the, you can use this to like clean little spaces around uh, your desk or what have you, or if you have like a little area where you burn sage, for example, and you want to sweep up the ashes, it's a little cleansing charm. So kind of cool, right? Just because it's something a little bit different. Then we also have, I'll have to find that bell. I know where it is. I can see it along all the detritus, detritus on my floor. We have this cool, cool bat in flight. It's an iron ornament. You could definitely put it on your Christmas tree, but I know there are a lot of people who actually do Halloween trees these days. Let me know in the comments below if you have a Halloween tree. I think this is really neat though, just because it's metal. It looks cool and it's got those kind of burnt looking edges. It says flying with the bats, you feel simultane simultaneously free and connected. Your ornament is made of protective iron, so hang it by a doorway, window, or any other entry. Its rusty patina evokes the fallow seasons when growth is paused for recovery. So you could definitely have this be an outdoor um, decoration. I kind of love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's pretty cool. All right, you guys, we have one more item and this is kind of a self-care item. Well, more of a home item. So we have Invocation of the Fire Tender. So, and again, we have that as our theme for next month. So this is like a little bit of a uh, spoiler. It says aging is a kind of ripening. So true. <laughs> so this is a simmer pot kit. It says as the sun begins to rise, you prepare to leave the bats. They pass along a packet of herbs, rind, and bark from the foxes. The foxes practice an herbal alchemy and their fire tender has requested a meeting with you. Simmer the contents of the packet to purify your space. The fragrance will help you prepare for your encounter with the fire tender. All right. So that was the reason for the fox uh, image, the little drawing. But these are basically uh, for aromatherapy. So this one has sweet orange, bay laurel, rosemary, Mary, cassia, and clove. I wonder if she made this herself since it really goes with uh, next month's theme. It says, a simmer pot kit with woodsy warm botanicals. Directions, add the contents to half a pot of water and bring to a boil, then reduce to low heat and enjoy the aroma. Keep the ingredients topped off with water and use for up to three days. Never leave a hot stove unattended. So it's like brewing some tea and having the aroma fill your home, or it's like having a candle, but without having to have an open flame necessarily, you know, unless you have a gas stove. But it's really kind of a cool idea in terms of you know or just brewing a potion in your kitchen and having it smell really good but I know that these are really popular in the fall and the winter months so that was kind of a cool item so let's go over everything that we got in this bat box from bird moss you guys let me know what you thought about it if you got to this point and you missed it there was a secret password so make sure you watch videos in their entirety so you can collect those secret passwords for the chance to win a mystery box as my way of saying thank you we got our bat talisman our little pendant on a cord and like I said before I would probably put this on a different chain but I do think that the pendant itself is kind of fun we got our DIY um, company a making kit but also includes a pincushion and a magnet which you could definitely use for other things if you don't want to make your own compass we got this gorgeous pomegranate box which is my favorite I think it is a lovely I love all of the little carvings along the side and that deep red color we got our cleansing charm maybe our less functional item but kind of cool if you're into you know rituals like that where we use the bell and the broom and the cord we have our bat and flight ornament a little decoration for the spooky season and fall and then of course our invocation of the fire tender simmer pot kit so i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy seeing the world of bird moss even if you don't become a subscriber but if you are intrigued which i know a lot of you are then make sure that you get in on it as soon as possible because she does often sell out so you don't see it on my channel here every single month and again you can get ten dollars off using the code noel i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing